Howdy folks, Chris the Carpenter here. I'm bored today, so I'm doing a tip walkthrough with uh, button coders. I love them, and I think they're awesome to play with, and they're a really good feedback method for your robots. Um, encoders are just little doodads that will give your um, your pick what's called a closed feedback loop, or just feedback, tell it what's going on. Um, here's one. And there'll be links for all this stuff. Most of these are on the component page. This is a little guy. has a uh, infrared emitter and a sensor. If there's something white or reflective in front of this, uh, it, the, white, uh, the, the infrared light will bounce off the white, say, paper or mark and uh, bounce back and trigger the, uh, the sensor there, which sends a, um, a high signal to, um, to your, uh, your little robot brain there. Uh, that's what I'm using on this little guy here. It's tucked in there. I've got some white marks on my wheels, and uh, here you can see uh, it's counting um, eight marks and stopping. All right. Now, if you want, if you want to get really fancy, you have two encoders. One of which is a half a mark off or half a hole off. That way, depending on what direction the wheel is turning, uh, one encoder is always going to get triggered before the other and therefore your pick knows which direction it's going um, if it doesn't already know because he coded it that way uh... here's another little guy same kind of deal got a sensor on one side and a uh... a light on the other i'm using this on this robot of mine and it is right there and on this gear I have drilled some holes all the way around, 32 to be exact, and uh, as a hole comes by, the light shoots through and it counts it. Uh, the code is really simple. The code is basically, if it used to be dark and now it's light, count one. Uh, and I'll throw some code snippets in there. Uh, there's also these really cool uh, rotary encoders. They look like potentiometers, but it's, uh, it's all those guts in one nifty little package, and there'll be a link uh, to the component page for that as well. Um, these little guys here, I don't know if I said this, these are also generally what's used, or something similar to this, in line follower robots. And, uh, and that's that. Uh, encoders are great. Hopefully, with the use of encoders and this little guy, I will be getting around to my write out LMR robot pretty soon. So, um, so that's that. There's a quick snippet of encoders. There'll be plenty of links in this post. Um, and knowing is half the battle. Ting!